Yeah, generally, I, I think as an overall philosophy, if you come into this field with respect, um, it's a huge, huge safety measure. You know, treat the whole field and everyone and everything within it with respect, and you are 90% of the way towards um, a safe outcome. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't, yeah. I don't well, believe... You treat it like a scientific investigation. Mm -hmm. and, and you do so that method where you have to be open and honest about what happens, what doesn't yeah. happen, mm -hmm. then yeah, that, that's the approach that has to happen here. Not, it is a, well, sometimes it, you're right, it is a social event because you're around people that you genuinely care about. Uh, Absolutely. But the, the end result for everybody at that social event is learning something new. It is, and, and, and also being respectful of the location um, and being respectful of, of whatever spirits or entities might be there as well. Um, I think that if you if you treat a an automobile or a firearm or a knife or a hammer or anything without the due respect it deserves, it will, it will harm you. It has the potential to harm you. So if, on the other hand, you do your research, your education, you know, you keep a, a cool, clear, sober... Um, mind, then you can have a long and, and productive uh, association with, with this kind of stuff. Yeah, I do not believe in provoking. You don't need to. You talk to them uh, with respect, and mm -hmm. you get more, um, I would say they communicate with you more readily. You catch more flies with honey than you do yes. with vinegar. Yes, yes. Yes. I, Although I, I kind of agree, a spirit, a, a, if you're going to deal with a serial killer, mm -hmm. they're the scum of the earth anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but especially, uh, especially when we investigate prisons, as we've done, um, we, you would be an idiot to walk onto an actual prison cell <laughs> block yeah. and start throwing around attitude. Yeah. Right. So, yes. you know, just because there are no living people in the prison you're investigating, um, still... Yeah, you want to treat that with the respect that it with deserves. Respect. Yes. If you've ever been to Alcatraz, that's oh, one it's place. on my bucket yeah. list. It's my yeah. number one bucket list location. <laughs> Trust me, you you will you will go there with yeah, with a lot of respect for what goes on there too. Wow, um, and you can feel it. Yeah. Well, if if I ever hit the lottery or something like that, I I might uh, would go out there with you. <laughs> one day, one day, I hope to for sure. Uh, well, look, our time has uh, just been flying by, and um, I want to take time to to thank you for taking the time to be with us tonight. Uh, great, uh, great topics, and and uh, you're just always a, a great guest, and it's the kind of guest we like. Ask one question and let you talk for twenty minutes. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to I'd like to thank uh, not just you guys for inviting me, but all of the people that are listening in uh, and everyone that's interacting in the chat room too. And, you know, I'm seeing some different opinions and I'm seeing people disagree for the most part respectfully. And I really think that's cool. Um, we're all the same kind of people, right? We're all the same kind of tribe because we all have questions about this kind of thing. And I just love the fact that you guys would take the time to come be a part of this tonight. So thank you so much. It was wonderful spending time with you tonight. And I want to give you a, a minute or so to tell people what you're up to next and and where people can follow you and um, get in contact with you if they would like to. And where to find your books. Yes. Absolutely. Um, well, let's see. Currently, I'm on uh, Haunted Hospitals, which airs on Saturday nights here in the States on the Travel Channel. Canada, it's on T&E, I believe. New season of Paranormal 911 should start in March. Uh, I don't have an exact date yet, but I hear that it's coming. You can find my books primarily at Amazon.com um, or any of the Amazon stores, but also in brick-and-mortar bookstores as well. Uh, come see me over at richardestep.net on the Internet or come say hi at my Richard Estep author page on Facebook. I love talking with people that have this same interest. I really do. So uh, thank you again so much. It's been a genuine pleasure being with all of you tonight. That's great. And we always, like I say, appreciate uh, having you come on. Uh, maybe sometime, uh, uh, have you got any plans, uh, for anything in Ohio this year? I just got back from Ohio uh, on Monday. Uh, um, I was 
I was at the Bel Air house. At the Bel Air house, yeah. Yeah, uh, and I'd like to get back there because that place was extremely active. Uh, mm-hmm. Highly recommended if you're an investigator well, looking that, for a genuine case. That's over there on the uh, eastern part of Ohio. Um, it is. And I live over here on the western side. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll get out to the western side this year. I just, I'm never quite sure where my travels will take me, but you never know. Well, I, I know there's a place called Post Town School. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people's uh, done that. Uh, that's not that far from me, just uh, maybe 20 miles. So yeah. it is now. So, uh, But uh, I've been there quite a few times. Uh, they have events there. I think they got one coming up in September, I believe. Uh, for a weekend so uh, if you ever get a chance uh, let them know and uh, or let me know if, if you're ever going to be over in that area uh, Man- I sure will Mansfield have you been there it's on my bucket list again Mansfield Re- Reformatory you're talking about right yeah it's on my bucket list I've yet to go there I would love to uh, I've been there one time uh, and uh, I was like on a private tour uh, mm-hmm. The guy took us uh, to places where a lot of the people don't get to go to, and oh, that's cool! Uh, it was real, uh, real interesting. It, it's a big place. Yeah. Well, my next, um, my next case and project will be. I'll be going to the UK in early April, all being well, and I'll be moving into a castle on the coast for a, a few days. A castle that's built uh, on plague pits, um, and I've never lived in a castle before, so I'm really looking forward to that. And also a World War II um, Royal Air Force airfield. Uh, I'll be investigating as well. Wow! Now that would be interesting to do. Wait, a castle built on plague pits? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah, it promises to be an interesting few yeah. uh, few days. I didn't tell my wife about the plague pits until I'd arranged to stay, though. Oops. Which <laughs> probably makes me a uh, a uh, bad a uh, bad husband, but you know. <laughs> How often do you get to say you're you're the lord and lady of a castle for three days? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a lot of interesting places over in England, so uh, yeah. maybe, maybe next time we can talk about uh, a lot more of those things over there. Scotland. I would be delighted to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, again, our time has run out, and if you stay on for a minute, we'll thank you uh, as soon as we get off. So uh, we'll see you uh, next week at the same time. Uh, our guest next week is going to be uh, Tabby Cat. So uh, join us with that. Uh, appreciate it. And um, let's see here what else I got coming up. Uh, I guess that's about all the time I got for. So this is Henry Foister. And Barbara Duncan. And we will see you next week uh, at the same time. So good night, everybody. Good night. You've been listening to the Paranormal View on the Para-X Radio Network. Join us again next week at the same time for more of the Paranormal View.